Golovkin knocks out Derevianchenko. Is that how you say it? You let me know. I was just re-watching this fight, and it was another one of those embarrassing moments for the boxing public at large, exposing themselves once again for their lack of clear thinking, inability to score fights, and complete and utter ignorance of the sport of boxing. A lot of people anyway. Sad, sad, pathetic moment for the boxing public at large. At least those who thought that Derevianchenko won this fight. No ifs, but about it. So, the first four rounds, Gennady Golovkin completely dominated his opponent. And this was the story, what I'm about to say now, through the whole fight. Whenever Golovkin landed his punches, they were audible. They sounded hard. They were hard. Look at Derevianchenko's face after the fight. Look at his face after the first round. Anytime Derevianchenko landed, we heard nothing. Derevianchenko landed some good shots. Sure did. Most of them, the ones that he landed cleanly, were arm punches. They didn't have much on them. It was the sheer activity that, in many cases, backed Golovkin up. He had a pesky mosquito in front of him, bothering him, and he couldn't keep up with... The younger man's stamina. It is what it is. Did he get outworked? Yeah. Were, was he getting outworked by clean and effective punches? For the most part, no. No. There was a lot of low-blowing by Derevianchenko, slapping, hitting behind the head, pulling Golovkin down, at least one blatant headbutt. A lot of dirty shit. Should have been docked points. But... You know, Harvey Doc. <laughs> Go figure. Golovkin dominated the first round, knocked him down in the second. I believe he cut him in the third. Uh, he whooped his ass in the fourth. Um, he was hurting Derevianchenko the whole night. The thing that Derevianchenko showed were great powers of recovery and fight and ability to fight hurt. Very impressive. In the fifth round, Derevianchenko shifted the momentum, hurt Golovkin to the body, and took that round. And he was beating Golovkin up in the beginning of the sixth round, and then Golovkin came back, in my opinion, stealing that round with better, more hurtful punches. More memorable, if only, not just only, but also because they happened in the latter part of the round. It is what it is. We're fallible beings. Seven, eighth, ninth, I don't remember exactly, but they were more competitive. Um, but still, throughout the entire fight, Golovkin was the more hurtful puncher. And it was really just the sheer activity and peskiness, if not clean and effective punching. And, and Derevianchenko had some clean and effective punches, but most of them, again, were arm punches when he did land. Not all of them. Uh, Golovkin consistently kept hurting Derevianchenko. Derevianchenko was holding a lot. Golovkin uh, maybe accepted a clinch or two, but for the most part wasn't holding himself, wasn't initiating any of those clinches. Derevianchenko was taking breathers, running away a little bit here and there. He did back Golovkin up with activity, and Golovkin had to take breathers himself because, again, he couldn't keep up with the activity rate of Derevianchenko. But just because you're backing your guy up with slaps, low blows, and, you know, maybe a clean punch here and there, arm punch, it still doesn't mean you're winning the round. You might be winning that moment, but when the guy finally gathers himself and starts landing bombs, audible bombs that snap your head back and rearrange permanently for the rest of your life, your face, changing the way you look forever, um, this being the hurt business, I'm giving the round to the guy doing most damage. And anybody who wants to argue that boxing isn't scored on damage, answer me this question. How come when you put a tremendous beating, even without knocking your opponent down in any particular round, you're supposed to get, he's supposed to be docked a point, right? 10-8 round for you. When you knock a guy down doing damage, why do you get an extra, or a point is taken away from him? Why is that? When you knock a guy out after getting your ass beat for 12 and a half rounds, why do you win the fight? 
damage. This is the hurt business. If you think otherwise, you don't know what you're talking about. It's right there in the way shown to you, demonstrated very, very obviously in the way boxing is scored, in the way we score boxing, in the way we are supposed to score boxing. Slaps, low blows, stop embarrassing yourself. Anyway, we're in the 10th round right now. Derevyanchenko had a good start, I believe, in the 10th round, and then Golovkin came back hurting him. Derevyanchenko's legs were doing some funny things. He was holding, and Golovkin kept pressing, and this is toward the end of the 10th round. Behind the head, holding, right? Because he's hurt. Boom, boom. Do you see his legs? Golovkin lands. Look, Derevyanchenko's got a hell of a chin, but come on, man. Golovkin lands four clean punches on you. I don't care who you are. You're going to be hurt. Derevyanchenko was hurt. Look at his legs. Look at the punches he takes. Besides, he's already hurt from a previous salvo that Golovkin put on him. That's why he's holding. Harvey Dock jumps in and stops the fight, right? Devinchenko took a tremendous beating in this fight. He was knocked down. That thing that landed behind the head that ultimately put him down, that's Devinchenko's fault because he bent down and bent his head down, which you're not supposed to do. But the damage was done prior to that with like three or four clean punches. That's why he went down. That behind the head graze just finished the job because the dude... Dude's legs were affected, right? Who gets knocked down by a graze behind the head, right? A guy that's taken a tremendous beating and his legs ain't all there. Anyway, they had the doctors checking him out in the fourth round that we saw. We can't see everything that's happening in any particular corner at all times, so maybe there was more of that. But they were checking him out seriously in the fourth round already. This is six more rounds of heavy punches from Golovkin. Just because he's fighting back and, you know, reddening Golovkin's face. I don't know if it's more exertion that Golovkin uh, is putting forth or, uh, you know, the slaps too. I, they're just reddening his face. But there's no, like, visible bruising or, or any acute damage, right? Anyway, this is 10 rounds of tremend a tremendous beating by Golovkin, completely rearranging his face, knocking him down, cutting him up, having the doctor check him out, landing concussive blows, the only blows that are audible in this fight. Harvey Doc has seen enough. Right? Derevinchenko's legs ain't there. Especially after that. Oh, he jumps in and he stops the fight. Golovkin wins by knockout. Just because the rules weren't enforced, just because the referee's decision was ignored, well, that's too bad. Yeah, had they stopped the fight right now, yeah, we would have lost two very, very exciting rounds. Boo-hoo. And Derevyanchenko probably lost a lot more in those two la last couple of rounds. And Golovkin, too. Had the fight been stopped the way it was stopped, had the referee's decision, however unfortunate you may think, think were enforced in that moment, yeah, it would be debatable. People would complain. Some people would say it was okay. It would have been controversial, no doubt about it. But that doesn't mean he didn't stop the fight. Harvey Doc stopped the fight. He had seen enough. Derevyanchenko took a tremendous beating and Golovkin was unloading on him. It doesn't matter how many seconds are left in the round. Golovkin unloaded on him. Maybe in those last couple, three seconds that Harvey Doc took away from Golovkin, it ended up being that. Maybe he really would have put him down and hurt him and given Harvey Doc that much more reason to stop the fight. Or the doctor in the corner. I don't know. But the fact that's undisputable is that Harvey Doc, prior to hearing a bell ending the round, jumped in and stopped the fight. What does that mean? Golovkin won by knockout. Thanks for watching.